And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Lab of Legends. We got legendary mode. We're, we are going to be playing Fizz today. Um, I'm, as you know, I'm making a video of each one of these champions on legendary mode. It's a little bit of a walkthrough or a guide for those of y'all either struggling with the champions or just want to see um, some some other ways to uh, you know use the champions and best ways to do them. So we're going to uh, go through legendary mode here with Fizz today. That's going to be the one we've we've done a, um, these three: Malphite, Aurelia, and Zillion um, for y'all on YouTube in the playlist. Let's let's go through Fizz. Uh, legendary mode. As you can see, I have done Fizz before. This is a fast one. Fizz is one of the easiest champions. If you if you're kind of struggling um, with any of the other champions on legendary mode, you want an easy champion to defeat with legendary. Use Fizz. This is actually one of the very easiest champions. And because there is a power that makes Fizz incredibly good, and that's going to be Yip's Genius. If you use this power, again, uh, you do have like the the uh, free rerolls. Luck. Thank you so much, Luck. Oh, happy to have you back as well. Um, you do have the free rerolls, so you can find Yip's Genius if you would like. Um, but if you don't want to do that, remember, you can make this more difficult if you want to just uh, have it set like where you only reroll, you know, zero times at the beginning, or maybe one, two, three, you know, like you can you can have like a set um, number for yourself so you can challenge yourself also. But if you want to make it as easy as possible, which for this walkthrough, I want to show you probably like the best way to kind of go through it. So uh, that would be this Yip's Genius Power. And the reason why is you see with this power, whenever you summon a one cost unit, it gets granted permanently plus two, plus two. And your champion, Fizz, is a one cost unit. So whenever you play Fizz, like on round one, it will have a permanent plus two, plus two buff. So it will be a four, three. And that's with any other one cost unit. Uh, units you have as well. So Double Trouble will make two one-cost followers. They will also get the plus two, plus twos. Your Petty Officer that makes the one-cost follower. All of those get the permanent plus two, plus two buff. It's incredibly powerful. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some games. Let's get a kind of a speed run, I guess. But, you know, let's get a run with Fizz through the Lab of Legends. We got nine stages. Nine levels, if you want to call them, to get through. First up, this looks really good. This looks really good. This is a hand that uh, I certainly like quite a bit. I'm just gonna keep everything, honestly. I'll just keep it all. Because basically, you you want to have Fizz round one, which we do. Ooh, the warning shot just makes it even better. Because now they don't get to block with that pesky specter. Perfect. And then uh, coral creatures. Lines up perfectly fine against these spiders and makes a random one cost spell for us. Um, that we can play with the attune mana to be able to give the fizz elusive next round. But of course, we'll also have the, the uh, double trouble. The double trouble will play that first. That'll give some fizz elusive. Okay, we can even use Shakedown to help with blockers. And that's 10. The Vile Feast. Still keeps it. Never mind, it's 11. So yeah, Vile Feast kills him. Right, Fizz is 4, not 3. Very, very fast. Round 3 kill. <laughs> right away. All right, what do we get? Ooh, we got LeBlanc. LeBlanc's always a really good one to have. LeBlanc can kill people really fast also, but so can Zed. Uh, both of these are pretty nice, LeBlanc and Zed. The thing about Zed is you get the Shadow Fiend, which Shadow Fiend is a one cost thing, so this would be a 6-5 ephemeral. That kind of sounds pretty cool. Let's take that, let's take the Zed, because then we also get, we also get the one drop. Because Fizz, Fizz is all about being super aggressive. Um, we do have now like a good amount of three cost cards that are going to be important. Right. Okay, we're gonna keep the double trouble, send the rest back, kind of look for our champions, even though like they weren't necessarily that bad of cards, especially like Petty Officer. 
Maybe I want to parlay. I was planning... Maybe this is bad. I was planning on not playing anything on round one and then round two playing Double Trouble. That was kind of my, my plan. Whoa! Luck with the with the uh, donation towards the cosmetic goal. Want to play a Heimer deck sometime? Absolutely, I will definitely play a Heimer deck for you. Absolutely, Luck. Thank you so much. All right, so that gets us fourteen other dollars towards our donation goal. I forgot to mention that today we are trying to get to that hundred because the cosmetics on this game are very expensive and. So just kind of working towards working towards those. That goal. Thank you so much, Luck. I appreciate it. Alright, so I'm taking a little bit of damage. It'll be okay. We have 30 life to get through the mist rates here and then thrash. Yeah, definitely gotta get some iPods in here. Thanks everybody for getting the uh, different emotes in the chat. Ooh, what do we get? We got the Fallen Feline. Okay, we got the Hexite Crystal in here somewhere, and then Destined Poro. Destined Poro, pretty cool. I'm playing on next round going Shadow Fiend plus Death Mark. That's gonna be four mana. <laughs> it's all about Shakedown. And I'm glad I have this coral creature just to send right in front of there. We'll death mark that. We'll take another three, go down to 24. But I can, so I can attack for 13 immediately. Which that will be the plan. Oh, never mind. The plan has changed. Because they could like stay alive pretty easily with like a... Sorry, they could, they could have stayed alive pretty easily with like a Vile Feast or something like that. <laughs> it's just always Shakedown. Mono Shakedowns. There we go, GG's. Alright, 24 life with Thresh, I think that will be just fine. Whoa, Delphinus, that's a pretty cool idea. It's a oh, Lab of Legends PvP mode where people get powers and get to duel those decks. Okay, I'm definitely too, choosing this when I'm summoned, summon an ephemeral copy of me, and I think I'm going to just do that with the Fizz. We get two copies of Fizz immediately. Fizz having Challenger isn't bad either, or Zed with Challenger. But, oh man, I guess actually having an ephemeral copy of Zed? These living shadows count as three mana, right? Yeah, they, they're three mana units. They're not one mana units. Because then you get the ephemeral copy of Zed, so then your ephemeral copy attacks and puts in another living shadow, and your Zed attacks and puts a living shadow in. This is four attackers here. We have four Zeds. Oh, man, it's hard to pass that up. Four Zeds? Yeah, I think... I guess I gotta go with that. I know we're a fit we're supposed to be a fizz deck, but. Okay, droplets of one mana three three elusive. Again, with our with our power, we want the one mana three three elusive. Man, our our run's looking good so far. If we can have if we can get something that like reduces Zed's cost by two, so then it only costs one and then it gets the plus two plus two buff. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Alright, send those back. Okay, so we can go double trouble on two, Zed on three, have six sweet attackers. Alternatively, I could have like Zed with death mark on three, and then I can death mark the what's supposed to be the ephemeral Zed, and then we have two regular Zeds. Man, if only Dancing Droplet would still attune and I could play a Dancing Droplet right here. All right, I'm gonna do the death mark. Without a 
So we, yeah, we can have two permanent Zeds, and then I can just double trouble next round. And the Zeds will level up, of course, because the, the two Living Shadows will strike the Nexus. <laughs> so we got two permanent leveled up Zeds. Alright, this is pretty sweet. Unfortunately, I don't really have, like, the pump spells to go along with Zed. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that. Fallen Feline and Prowling Cutthroat. Um, okay, so this is Thresh, which means... We can take some damage because our life total is going to reset after this game. My siblings. We're at 14, but that's okay. First. I'm attacking with the 4 1 over the 3 3 1 just because it's more damage. The elusive doesn't really matter because this can block any of these things anyway. Or I'll just block that. All right, and Zed will get it done. All right, Zed is the shadow. Yeah, so so the living shadows hitting the Nexus counts towards the Zed level up, and even though they're yeah, so all you need is just two living shadows total. Round start, refill your spell mana is always a great power to have. It's a lot of mana every single round. Love that power. We don't really have too many spells, but we have double trouble, which is like our, our best spell. The death mark. Yeah, like this is just a great power. I'm just taking this. Um, yeah, the other ones other ones are perfectly fine. But yeah, sorcery is, is one that you have to have a real good reason to pass on sorcery. It's good with everything. So awesome. We're going to have spell mana refilled every single round and um i actually think i may take the whimsy i like i like whimsy against the freljord regions like where they can get some like larger overwhelmed things and stuff i like whimsy there deep meditation is also an option since we don't have that many spells but it's gonna be kind of difficult to turn on maybe not that difficult to turn on so the whimsy and the deep meditation i'm gonna take the whimsy so Whimsy basically costs one mana. So the refill your spell mana is going to be pretty awesome. If we can find a Fizz and a Double Trouble. I kind of wish... Yeah, this is all right. We want Fizz, Double Trouble, and Zed. Those are the three cards we want. Anyway, I was going to say that I kind of wish I put the Ephemeral on the Fizz. Uh, this will be fine. Winter, take you. Oh, there's another one. Leap oh, potion. Why are you here? All right, you're going to get him, Zed. The double trouble. I'm gonna start with that so that they have a frostbite thing. Yeah, which they did. They're not frostbiting my Zed. Right. And we hit pool sharks. So we're gonna be able to draw a fleeting card this next round. And Zed levels up. I am the shadow. We are only going to have the one leveled up Zed, of course. I am only the worthy survivor. 
the other one still was ephemeral. <laughs> Man, we I, we don't look like we're we are a um, a fizz deck anymore, but still fizz is would still be quite good for us. Fortunately, that means they get to kill the Zed. Yeah, they give us a 3-3 three, three snow hair. <laughs> That's pretty good. I kind of want to draw another card. We got plenty of mana and not, not really that many cards. Double trouble. Might as well play it. The only reason, the only thing this could really hurt is if we hit like another Shadow Fiend right there and then I don't have the ability to death mark. But I guess if it was a Shadow Fiend, I could whimsy. Whimsy! Alright, Whimsy pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and heal our Nexus. And we are going to attack for hopefully lethal. And move on to the next level. Four down, five to go. Man, you can get just some really fast runs with Fizz. Because you see, not only does Fizz really like the plus two, plus two, but double trouble. That getting the plus two, plus two is also quite important. Okay. I I like this right here, this Sharkling. Sure, I don't have other Lurk stuff. But remember, one drops are super important because our first power, the Yip's Genius. So this is a this is a one mana three four that has last breath rally. That sounds pretty awesome to me. <laughs> one mana three four last breath rally. Um we can also give it Nav one. And just make one more one mana three fours last breath rally? With nab, with attack nab one. Sure, why not? Why not? I'm in there. <laughs> Last breath rally sounds pretty awesome. So yeah, the petty officer would have been larger, but then also ephemeral. All right, get rid of these. Where's our one drops? Where's fizz? Whoa. Lots of Zeds. Yeah, getting the the free mana for double trouble. Like this is kind of broken. <laughs> Round one, double trouble. Kind of broken. The winter's claw strikes. Leave nothing standing. Plus one, plus zero, and quick attack this round. If I can give it to you. Block that thing. That's cool. That's cool. And now... We get multiple Zeds. Dang. You can get some broken decks with Fizz. And we're not even drawing our Fizz. That's the sad part here. I want to draw Fizz. Fizz is cool. So did hmm. what? Yay Fizz. So I guess this didn't level up, because this is I've seen myself or Shadow strike that yeah, so whenever there you have two Z strike, you don't actually level up the Z because it has to be that specific Z or um Living Shadows. Alright, I they're gonna attack, right? Yeah, they attack. Twice. 
I want the spell. Pick a card. Alright, let's put Fizz in play. And then we will Zed's Shadow Shift to the Zed. I'm just doing stuff to, to have a little fun here. Sorry. So we get to put a Living Shadow in play, put the Zed back in our hands. Now we can replay Zed, which makes the Ephemeral Zed. And so we can have. Elusive. Elusive. Zed, Zed. All right, that's pretty cool. There we go. Man, we are rolling through this, that's for sure. Yeah, 56 Chicken Wings had that same idea. Going with the Shadow Shift and then replaying Zed. Was it necessary? No, not at all. But was that fun? Absolutely. Uh, I don't really like any of these, honestly. Yeah, I don't really like any of them. I don't want to use the Bone Skewer. I don't really want to... I mean, we can Time Winder, I guess. Just one cost Time Winder. We just discard a card, deal one to two different things. We probably have some stuff that we could discard. I kind of think I'm going to use the Stand United. Stand United is the best card out of all these. Remember, we do refill our spell mana each round. So I think I'm just going to take the, the best card out of all of them and just take the Stand United. We could re-roll, but again, re-roll here, we're just going to get, like, you know, random spells in the game that could be pretty bad. I don't love re- I basically, I don't like re-rolling, like, any time for, like, just the, the spell stuff, like, when you have the spell reinforcements, because I've, I've had bad spells re-rolled, get bad spells again, right? Like, there's, there's a lot of bad spells in the game. I like re-rolling more on, like, the, on the, your, your powers, or whenever it's, like, re- like, the cards in your hand. Or like the cards in your deck that you like it chooses random random powers for the cards in your decks, so you know, like those you can really hit some super good cards in your deck that like are more important than others. Those are where I like using the rerolls on those two things. Chat saying roll though. So alright, fine. I'll go with chat. We will re-roll one. But this is why I don't like using the rerolls on these, right? Like none of the like I'll just take I'll just take the stand united. Right? You just get some very bad spells. So we will do this line them up, I guess. So line them up, I guess. We can do basically do one damage to stuff and you get a one cost Poro, which of course the one cost Poro will have the plus two plus two. So we'll take that. But that's not really worth see that wasn't really worth the reroll. Alright, Fizz with Overwhelm. Awesome. Because we want I want more copies of Fizz because I want more fizzes in the deck. I do kind of like two mana Petty Officer, so the Petty Officer isn't on the same mana cost as Zed, so I can... Two, two mana Petty Officer is very intriguing, because then we have our one mana, like Fizz or Sharkling, and then two mana we can play Petty Officer, and then three mana we got Zed. That's actually really intriguing. Because remember, our double troubles are free. Yeah, the Overwhelm on Fizz doesn't change a whole lot, but it just gets another copy of Fizz in the deck. But we do have all these other Sharklings in the deck as well. Alright, I guess it's the two two mana Petty Officer. So that spell reinforcements you can see there, we didn't really upgrade, we just used a reroll for kind of nothing. So I, I do recommend not using your rerolls on those things. Okay. So get rid of you, get rid of you. Keep double trouble Zed. Where's our one cost? Fizz. Nope. Fizz or the Lurk? Hmm. We haven't found Fizz or the Lurk yet. Chip! Yeah, we got Chip voice lines. Awesome. But this just fits. Petty Officer so well. Okay, never mind. My plan was definitely Petty Officer, but then the Petty Officer just dies to the Ember Maiden. That's a large Ember Maiden, a 6-5. Alright, so this is Sejuani again. Our, our life total will reset after this game. Don't need to worry about it. We shall take it. Where no one lives! 
I don't want this Zed to die. Alright, oh, so we won't level up our Zed. Because it's only one living shadow striking them, that other Zed doesn't count. I want another spell. I'm probably going with the open attack here. Kind of surprising they didn't do anything. Last breath rally. Yeah. Yeah, nab one. No, kill, kill my sharkling. Alright, they didn't kill my Sharkling. At least not yet. Oh man, that would have been huge! Oh! Wow, Dune Keeper <laughs> off of that? That would have been crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and transform my. No, the Petty Officer. Yeah, transform the Petty Officer into a 5 cost. Ooh, okay, 5 4 Overwhelm. Alright, so you will block there. And then 5 4 Overwhelm will just block here. Yep. So we got Last Breath Rally. This day who is getting pretty big. Be a nine nine. That's why I'm just letting things die. Basically, is because of this day hunter. Line him up and knock him down. So doing that first, because that's a powder keg. That powder keg does count as something dying, so the powder keg does help level up, or, you know, does add on another thing for the Zehu Endure. Then the lineup of knocking down gives us the Poro. And there we go. All right, Sejuani defeated, and we're going to be heading on over to Piltover and Zon with Victor now. Jeez. All right, what do we got? We got new power. So far, both of our powers are amazing. Okay, this one doesn't matter. When an ally survives damage, grant it plus one, plus one, or when you damage the enemy nexus, grant the top ally of your deck plus one, plus one. None of these are that good. Endurance, I would, I think I'd rather have endurance out of all these, but this is this is the kind of, like, this is where I like using rerolls in this stuff. Let's go ahead and use a reroll. Allies everywhere that cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk. That's actually incredible. This is actually incredible for us, right? Because we have basically everything in our deck are allies that cost three or less, and so that just means everything are lurkers, and they all have lurk. That seems awesome. <laughs> so that means that we're going to get a bunch of, like, you know, plus something, plus something. That's awesome. Okay, so we can have... Fizz have quick attack. I'd rather have Fizz have quick attack than the plus two plus zero. We're going to get the plus two plus zero pretty easy. But we could have Zed get the plus two plus zero. So we either have Zed have plus two plus zero or Fizz have quick attack. So quick attack Fizz means it's hard for it to die. Or the Zed with the plus two plus zero, of course, because remember we put the extra Zed in play also and how that's pretty crazy. So then we have like multiple, like, so we have four or five power things attacking immediately. Um... This is tough. 
this is tough. I I like both both of these. The Zed plus two plus zero or the Fizz quick attack. I guess we just go with the Zed. Yeah, I guess because we get the two Zed. I mean, I wanted to showcase Fizz more with this run. It just it just happened to be turn into a Zed run. I guess I could have forced it to be a Fizz run, but I'm just doing what's better. But um, a lot of times with this, like you can have just like you can just keep putting your powers on Fizz and have an incredibly good Fizz. All right, shuffle these things away. Even though those things are, would not be lurkers, so they'd not be as good shuffling them away. But lurker, Let's see if we hit lurk. Alright, we did not hit Lurk. I was kind of counting on that hitting Lurk. Not gonna lie, I thought that we would. Okay. Maybe... Uh, maybe this is kind of bad. We'll be fine. Let's get another one cost unit. All right, you block there, block there. So we're taking nine. I'm gonna have to get ahead and stay ahead quite a bit for the future games. No. All right, we got our death mark. Hit lurk. Wait, what is going on here? So we hit lurk, but why is this one only a five two? Shouldn't it be bigger? But then this one turned into a, a six two because of the lurk, and then this one's a six two, but then this one's a seven two. Oh, cause then oh, cause but why didn't why didn't this get lurk? Oh, there's a bug with lurk on Zed. Okay, well, good to know. Oh no 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 wrong card, death mark, death mark you and you. On my mark. So that should have been a 6-2, but oh well, it's not. No one knows these streets like me. Hmm. We're gonna need an elusive blocker. We don't need topsiders. This way. Well, that makes that block very easy. The order. Dang, that thing's big. Okay, so I could do the whole living shadow. You know, put Zed back in my hand, get a new Zed thing again. Which I could do. That would give me, you know, like way too many attackers, of course. But we could do that. Doesn't sound too bad. Unless they have just... Oh, they, they're going to have the removal spell, though, because we know they have, like, the MK2, so they could just MK2 that. I guess that part sounds bad, them MK2-ing. Alright, so playing this first, assuming they're gonna MK... Oh, MK3. Alright. Now we'll play New Zed. Basically, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to have them play a spell. Now we go New Zed. Yeah! <laughs> Look how big these things are. 
Dude, that everything's a lurker is pretty crazy. Oh no. Stop killing everything. And I don't want to cast the pick a card, of course, because that just gives us more chances to draw uh, puff caps. Yeah, I don't really want to. I don't want to play the salesman. The, the casks are just zero. They're zero, so they're not getting the plus two plus two. And I don't want to do the two damage to myself. Always shake down. Will this just fizzle? No, it should still put something in over here, doesn't it? Yeah, I should still do that. And that the th same thing with the spray fins. They're just going to draw cards for us, and I don't really want to draw extra cards. The one we got, yes. There's our champs. Let's get a Fizz, let's get a Zed. Making multiple 7-2s now. Rude. Alright, fine. We'll go, go and play that to give the Fizz elusive. So we'll take one, go to 18. They still got the lurk bonus, even though they were 0-1s, they still got that lurk bonus. That That's pretty cool, that's my very first time to get the lurk power in the labs, that's pretty cool. What do we got? We got Quick attack, petty officers, death marks only costing two mana, or spray fins with the pickaxe. We can use a reinforcements here. The best one is the the quick attack petty officers to get us more petty officers, but I think that's not really that important. And these other ones, I don't really care about spray fin or death marks, whatever. So let's go ahead and reroll. All right, Zed getting the belt plus zero plus two. Now that is something that can be very important. Usually it would be like, oh, okay, droplets are zero mana, that's cool, but we want droplet to be one mana for the plus two plus two. We don't want it to be zero. So let's take let's have give Zed the belt. Make it so Zed doesn't die to Mystic Shot and get excited. Or these death rays. Mulligan. Mulligan, mulligan. Keeping Fizz, but would love to see Double Trouble. Yes, Double Trouble. Perfect. So we get Fizz first. Oh, they, they always have Get Excited, don't they? I should have kept that warning shot, I guess, for Get Excited. Yeah, they always have Get Excited. Guess I could have kept that warning shot. Okay. No lurk. Man, this is. Going surprisingly not very well. Yeah, that's a lot of damage to take. I've got I gotta trade this off. Which to be honest, the Destin Poro is gotta be better than the elusive, actually. Yeah, so Heimer gone, that's good. 
I'm kind of hoping that this Destin Poro, because if we level up the Zed... Oh no! Well, we're not going to be leveling up the Zed. I'll play that after I attack. Alright, hit the lurk. I should have had these the other way around, I think. I think maybe the first set doesn't get the bonus. Okay, we still gotta do 30 damage. They're getting these things each round. out of six. I just can't keep the Fizz alive. Yes, yeah, so I could I could block here and then Shadow Fizz here. Then I don't get to replay Zed. I don't get to like play a new Zed, but I'll just replay Fizz. Yeah, that's fine. And then I open attack. Okay, this this is fine. Yeah, this is not looking good. I agree. Yep, yep, yep. With them getting like the free free unity crowns. Got him. Wow, oh, that was good. Really glad they didn't kill Zed. One man short for that death mark. Okay. So we can just attack with everything. Lurk! Nothing but a footnote. Embrace the shadow. Yeah, that's what that's what I like doing like with the control unit. The control decks is just not deal with any of the just not deal with the units with the guard bots and just, you know, try to go for the 10 cards. Or, you know, like, mill them out. I think that's a very good strategy against the guard bots. Is just try to mill them out. You can't do this. This is gonna be close. Line him up, knock him down. Fortunately, knock him down is fast speed, right? Or slow speed? Even worse. Alright, so we're gonna give uh, Zed Overwhelm. So now, leveled up Zed will give the other thing Overwhelm as well. Unfortunately, the lurk just isn't <laughs> hasn't been working too well with the Zed. Okay, well that's game. All right, so we got eight life for Victor. I got no re rolls. We just got eight life. We're gonna have to come out swinging. We the thing that's kind of been a little problematic for our deck is we have no like removal. Like nothing has a challenger or anything like that. That's been a little problematic. Oh man, no no rerolls. I could just take like these warning shots that heal my Nexus. Maybe I need to do that. Four mana petty officer that gets a seven, five, and something else. I probably need to just take the warning shots, heal my Nexus. The death mark obviously isn't important, so. Yeah, all right, warning shot, heal my Nexus. Okay. 
final, final boss with Victor. Let's get a good run. Let's get Fizz and uh, Double Trouble. We got the Double Trouble. Okay, so we have Droplet, Double Trouble. Droplet into Double Trouble into Petty Officer. That's a good round one, round two. I could still mulligan the droplet because I do have a lot better ones, but I don't want to, you know, only have a bunch of spray fins or something. How do we keep drawing so many spray fins? There's only two in the deck. <laughs> We've had like both spray fins every single game, and they're like our our two worst cards. What do I do? What don't I do? Yeah, three four and a three five. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, sure, I guess you can attack too. Shake my hand. Warning shot health potion. This is what I was worried about, though, of choosing Warning Shot Health Potions, that we just only have a bunch of those. So I guess the Spray Fin's going to be necessary. Ooh. You'd be kind of cool. All right. So a 4-1 dies to a 3-1. A 4-2 dies to a 5-5. Five five. And then I take 3. Actually, let's kill the 3-5 and keep the 4-2 alive. Yeah, I like that more. Okay. So, we are... I guess we're supporting like this, hoping that like if they do some blocking, they block this this thing. Yeah, rather than block that petty officer, than blocking the sparring student. All right, hit lurk. So we know we have a unit that costs three or less on top. Man, I don't know if I can I pick a card one of these warning shots. I may not be able to. Like if they go Victor next round, that Victor could be super scary. I guess. I guess I'm passing. Yeah, so we pick a card, the spell that we get from Sprayfin. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, which is another warning shot. Yeah, I, def I need to play pick a card this round. Six seven regen. With overwhelm. Focus. Focus. I think oh, I meant put the wrong card there. I think I may just honestly maybe I just put the dancing droplet back. I mean, the Dancing Droplet is a 4-3 elusive for one mana. We live here. Thanks, Dan Detective. Okay, yeah, that regen's pretty nasty. All right, what am I... I'm casting... I'm going to cast this pick a card. Which one are we... Pick a guarding back, the droplet or the warning shot. I guess. Oh, it's a tough call. I think we're okay at six, so I'm gonna put the warning shot back. Hopefully, we're okay at six. I think we are. Yes, those are good. Yes, that that worked out well. All right, we'll go double trouble first because we could hit you know other sparring student type cards. Not. All right, let's hit the lurk. 
No. Uh, what do you support? You're going to support... I guess just the elusive. Yes, hit the lurk. Let's go. Ooh, iterative improvement. Okay. I guess we just have this all happen. That's game. We defeated Victor. I didn't even realize that, that was lethal. <laughs> wait, yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, oh wait, it's GG's. I was thinking about like what I was doing with the iterative improvement and everything. Wow. All right, got there, man. That was that was uh, kind of. <laughs> It looked kind of bad at the end with us having such a low life total heading into Victor. And we didn't even get the Zed, right? Like, we didn't get our super powerful Zed against the Victor. But you can see this is a fast champion to use on Legendary Mode. Even though, like I said, this is one of the easier champions. And we got an amazing second power to go along with the best first power. It still can be tough. They've really made this, you know, it's, it's a challenge sometimes on this Legendary Mode. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. That's going to be Fizz with Yip's Genius. And uh, didn't really get very many power-ups. Got a lot of them on the Zed. That Sharkling was, was pretty cool, too. All right. This is this was cool. This Lion Weight. Allies everywhere that cost three or less are Lurkers that, and have Lurk. That was pretty cool with our deck. I was hoping to get like some kind of power on the Double Trouble, um, but we didn't. That's okay. Like, you know, make it cost less or have it double so you get two double troubles when it, you know, whenever you cast it. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know which champions y'all want to see next in this series. you got any questions, um, any anything that you need more help with, with doing the legendary mode, I'm happy to answer them. So feel free to put them over in the comment section, and I will do that. Alright, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.